The topic I'm interested in is to reduce treatment burden um, in cancer patients. And I have been specialized in germ cell cancer over the last decades. And um, this is a role model for cancer treatment. First, it's multidisciplinary. A lot of people have to decide what is the right treatment to choose. Traditionally, we combine in metastatic patients chemotherapy and surgery of metastatic disease, and in some instances, also radiotherapy. We have achieved long-term survival rates. Um, so cure rate is approaching 100% in testis cancer patients, even if they have metastasis. So only 3 to 4% of testis cancer patients finally will die from the disease. But having developed all this, um, we have now data from Scandinavia, from uh, the Nor Norwegian group. Sophie Fossa initiated this, and now it's um, done by her collaborators. They have data on patients that had been treated 40 or sometimes 50 years ago. And so we could um, observe in these patients' groups the toxicity of the treatment, namely cisplatinum or radiotherapy. And in average, um, Patients that have survived testis cancer lose six to eight years of their life due to secondary toxicities, secondary malignancies induced by the previous treatment. That was necessary, obviously, but um, our research is now, do we really all people need this um, full treatment in the beginning, um, independent of their disease? So we are now really looking for stages and stage adapted treatment. And in this regard, we will publish at this EAU some data um, on metastatic surgery, so surgery in metastatic disease in seminoma. And um, we're going to report our series, but this is in conjunction with a series from Sia Danishmat from Los Angeles. Um, they just um, published this this year, that small metastatic seminoma lesions can be taken away by surgery. And about 70 to 80% of those patients will not need systemic treatment. And um, the standard treatment still is three um, cycles of cisplatinum-based um, chemotherapy with these um, described long-term toxicity effects. So this is one way of um, figuring out how many treatment do those patients really need. Um, we have invented, um, not invented, but we have used um, robotic um, surgery. So this is minimally invasive surgery to take out the metastatic disease. And this is obviously sufficient for more than half of the patients. And um, Chemotherapy is still the rescue if something fails, so we don't risk something for the patients. We only probably will bring some benefit to them in terms of improving their rates of long-term toxicity. And I think this is one example how in cancer treatment we should think. So it's nice to treat patients, but it's even nicer to follow them for the next um, 30 or 40 years and then try to reduce the treatment if possible and this works in seminoma at the moment. We need more data. We need more trials. But uh, I think the direction of this kind of research is very important.